Hello everyone and welcome to the 13th Cocoa Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can set up an NS Table View in our Cocoa applications. So basically, an NS Table View is very similar to List View in iTunes. So if you use iTunes and you have a bunch of songs in there, you know that there's an NS Table View that basically powers that. So in List View, we have a bunch of objects, in other words, songs, and we have a bunch of columns as well that represent, you know, the title of the song, artists, albums, etc. And these are all things that NS Table View does, and that's what iTunes uses. So uh, NS Table Views also allow us to add and remove items. We can also change the values of indig individual cells or individual uh, pieces of data in the columns, like we do in iTunes, where you know if we change a song name or an artist, we can do that freely. So we can do all of this in an NS Table View, and that's what this tutorial is on. So in this tutorial, I'm actually just going to be showing you how we can set up um, the interface for this, and then I'm going to talk about how this works in the background, and we're going to set up our base classes. And then uh, we're going to have a few more tutorials on this as well to complete how NS Table Views work. So anyway, um, to set up this interface, we're just going to need an NS Table View and two buttons. So go ahead and just type in NS Table, and you'll get NS Table View. And then we can drag that in like so, and we can extend it, and that looks about good. So now you want to also add two buttons, so just go ahead and type in button, or uh, I guess already at the top anyway. So go ahead and drag in your uh, little button, and duplicate that by doing Command D if you want. And then we're just going to relabel these. One's going to be called Remove, and the other is going to be called Add. So that's just to add and remove elements in our NS table view. So that's what we have for this application, and you're probably wondering, well, what are we actually trying to build for this? So we're not going to be actually displaying songs, but what we're going to be displaying is people. So um, not actual people, but we're going to be um, putting people's names and their age in these different columns. So basically every row in the NS table view will represent a new person, and every column represents a different piece of data. So uh, this column here will represent the name of the person, and this column right here will represent the age of the person. So what we can go ahead and do if we want, and I'm just going to readjust this cell, and just because the age doesn't have to be that large. So um, we can go ahead and double click on the little header here, and we can type in name if we want, and then we'll double click over here and just type in age. And this just re represents that you know the two different things that we're going to be displaying. So this is all we really need to be, uh, all we need to do to actually set up our NS table view. We just put in the titles of the columns, and again we're going to be displaying uh, a list of people. The first column is going to be their name, and the second column over here is going to be their age. So that's basically what we're trying to display. So I have a handy graphic to help us out with this. So what we're going to be uh, building is basically this. So this looks complicated at first. Uh, it's more complicated than we've been working with so far. But um, I'm going to explain it to the best of my abilities. So this isn't actually all that more complicated than we've built. Um, for the most part, everything on this right side here is something we have worked with. So it's actually not all that much different uh, from what we've done in the past few tutorials, but I'm going to explain what all this means here. So this general setup that we have here is actually known as MVC, which is Model View Controller. And I'm going to be talking about this in later tutorials. I just didn't want to clog this one with that. Um, but it is actually a huge concept in uh, Coco, and it's actually what we build all of our uh, applications around. It's kind of the fundamental idea of how we work with um, our different things in our application. So basically, just a quick kind of overview of what MVC means. Um, model of View Controller just simply means that we divide our application into different sections, so to speak. So the idea is that we have a model of view and a controller, and the model is basically just the, um, it's kind of like the building blocks of what you're trying to put in. It's kind of like the data pieces. So in this example, we have a person object, and so we're going to be creating 
multiple people. And so the person object just kind of contains uh, the model, which is uh, the, a model of a person. And we're going to be putting that into our view later. Um, the controller is what's going to be communicating between the model and the view. So uh, when the view wants to display a bunch of people, um, it's not going to be looking at the model directly, it's going to be looking at the controller, and the controller will have all these different objects inside, or all the different uh, people objects inside of it. So the main idea of model view controller is that the view is all of the uh, things you see on screen, and the controller uh, communicates both back from the model and the view. So the, the really key part about this, though, is that the view never really talks to the model, um, maybe in very rare cases, but it's generally uh, frowned upon. So the whole idea of MVC is that your view will communicate to your controller, and the co controller can then communicate back to the model objects that it either contains or is uh, looking at. So this isn't really my explanation for MVC, but the main idea is just that the view will communicate with the controller, controller to models, and back and forth like that, and the view and the model never communicate. So that's the general idea, but I will have more on that um, in a later tutorial. But what we want to try to explain here is how uh, we're going to work with our NS table view. So really what we have here on this side of the aisle is um, what we've kind of been working with so far. So uh, this right here, our table view controller, is just like the app controller that we've been working on, working with in the past few tutorials. So it contains the data that we usually connect to our view. So that's uh, simple enough. And it has a few action methods here, add and remove, which we will connect to our buttons. And of course, we have you know an NS mutable array in here. And then we have an instance variable for our table as well. So for the most part, we know how all this stuff works. Uh, you know, we can add new objects to our nib files. So the, these objects over here, we just, you know, drag and drop in, which we did right here in Xcode. And so we're not really changing much about um, the applications that we've done. The, we've, the only real difference here is how this NS table view works. So NS table view, um, the important thing about it is that it doesn't contain its own data. So you might think, well, you know, wouldn't it wouldn't have some some kind of mutable array inside of it where you could add and remove objects to a table view? Well, no, and that's where um, the you know that's where I guess the difficulty comes with NS table views. It's really not difficult at all, but um, that's why it's some a little bit different than other objects that we worked with. So basically, an NS table view how it works is that it doesn't contain its own data but it will ask some other object uh, that has the data for its data. So basically, as you can see here, we're asking, or our NS table view is going to be asking our table view controller for all of its data, and that data is going to be stored in the NS mutable array. And the NS mutable array is going to be containing all the person objects that we have. So if you can envision this, we have basically an NS mutable array with all these person objects, and when our NS table view goes to basically load itself, with all the information, it's going to be looking at the NS mutable array to say, hey, you know, I want to take all the data from you, so that's what I'm going to do. And basically, we're just, we just have to figure out how we can get this NS mutable array data into our table. And that's basically the job that we have. Um, so that's really all we have to do, though, for NS table views. Um, the whole idea is just that that we have a data source, which is going to be wherever our data is stored, and that's our controller in this case. And again, NS table view doesn't contain its data, we just have to ask somebody else for it. And in this case, we're going to be, our controller is going to be responsible for handling this data. So what I have here, uh, this last note here, we just have a relo reloads table uh, thing that I put. And all this means is that we have an instance variable of an NS table view that will tell it when we or will tell our NS table view when it has to reload itself or when it has to reload the data, which basically means it will if we um, tell the NS table view to reload itself, then it will go and fetch the data once again. Because since we're storing all the data in the NS mutable array, uh, we just sometimes have to update the NS table view on when we've made changes. So that's really all we have here. Um, there's not all that much uh, that's too complicated. We know about uh, I, 
say about 75% of this already. The only real difference is how we're going to get our data or our NS table view to search for its data. And we just have to provide uh, the means for our table view to get that information. So that's uh, about the extent of this program. So anyway, let's go back into our uh, Xcode file here and let's just set up the base classes which are going to be our person and our controller. And we already have the view set up so we just want to set up our table view and our person and we're not going to really make any connections between these things. We just want to set up uh, the classes. So we can go ahead and we can just say file new file and we're going to hit an objective C class, subclass and its object and we'll just call it person. So then we have our person class here, and uh, again, all we have in our person, looking at our little image here, we just have an NS string of name and an integer of age. So let's go ahead and set those up. NS string, name, int age. Then we want some properties for these as well. So we'll copy the NS string, name, and property, int age. And then let's make our synthesizers for this as well. So synthesize, um, we want our name, and synthesize our age. So now what we want to do in our init method is just set these two up. So go ahead and say name gets and a string. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. I just want to set it up with the string literal. Let's just say Yoda. That's how we're going to set up our uh, name. And then what we want for our age is to do the same thing, basically. I don't know how old Yoda is, but I'm going to take a fair guess at 300. So anyway, there we go. We have uh, Yoda is going to be the default name when we have a new person object, and the default age is going to be 300. So now let's build the last class of the day here, and this is just going to be our um, controller. So we're just going to say table view controller. And table view, and that's not what I want to do. I just subclass the wrong thing. I want a subclass of NS object. Uh, don't get confused with what I just did. So subclass of NS object, I want to be calling this table view controller. And let's just set this up. So we have an NS table view that we're going to want to connect, and we'll just call it table view. And, of course, if we're going to be connecting this to our view, we're going to need an IB outlet for this as well. And then the other thing is we want to be able to store our data. So we just want to have an NS mutable array. And we're just going to call it list. So that's that. Uh, we have all the objects we need. And we'll add the methods in the next tutorial because we're not going to link them up anyway. Uh, let's just set up our list as well for this. So in our init method, We'll just create a new NS mutable array. NS mutable array, alloc, and init. And there we go. So, this is just some default uh, setup code that we need for this tutorial. We basically just set up everything that we really have for our person and our controller classes. We haven't really made any connections between the objects or anything. But we just have our basic setup, so the person with a name and an age and its methods for that. And then we just have the connection that we're going to make for our table view and our data source, basically, or where we're going to store all the person objects in our list right here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and stay tuned for the next one. Uh, we're going to have the next one on how we can actually put data into our NS table view. So anyway, if you enjoy these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel, and um, if you're feeling nice, please click some ads while you're at it, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Alright, I'll see you next tutorial.